Putting in the time and effort to earn a degree in computer science can pay off in a big way. The earning potentials for computer science majors is basically unlimited and the number of career opportunities that are open to you is awesomely diverse. We spent hours sifting through computer science related careers to find the ones with the highest pay and we narrowed down to a very quick list of top 10 careers for computer science majors. There's a ton of information here, but make sure you stick around until the end for one awesome career that you might not even have considered. And the career that you pick is very important and you'll spend a lot of years going for that. So if you do pick the wrong option, you know, it's not the best situation to be in. Let's just be honest. So let's just clear everything up in this video. The first one on the list is going to be the software quality assurance or quality assurer. And it is an essential department for any tech company. Quality assurance workers analyze and test software through various stages of development to make sure that the product is safe, that it's secure, and that it is compliant with various regulations and company standards. Positions in this field will make good use of the skills that you pick up as a CS major, including some coding skills in different languages, being able to understand existing code and document changes, and debugging software. The software quality assurance field is projected to grow as much as 25% by the year of 2032, which means that there will be a steady need for software quality assurance workers in the future. And with an average salary of around 120,000 per year, there's definitely some incentive to look into this career. Now, of course, the salaries will depend a lot on what you focus on. You might make less and you might make more than this, depending on the kind of software that you do and for the specific company. Number two is going to be the database architect. Now, all companies need a way to securely store their data, and it's the job of a database architect to design and build those solutions. Once the systems are built, they then set the standards to follow for operations, programming and more in order to ensure the health of the database for the long term. So it's a very important job. There is an ongoing need for database architects with around 10,000 job openings every single year projected over the course of the next 10 years, which is pretty good as well. Now, database architects do carry a lot of responsibility, which means that they will have to have the skills to pay the bills, like knowledge of Python, you might work with C, Perl, Java, and in general, it's just the skills to actually manage the database that you're working with. And speaking of paying the bills, database architects have an average salary of around 117,000 per year which is really good as well now number three is going to be the computer network support specialist now any job with the work support in it probably turns your stomach with the thought of dealing with calls from angry clients and angry people but don't count out computer network support specialists because it is a pretty good job this is a role that works to keep the networks running by analyzing, testing, and kind of troubleshooting them while performing different basic tasks like backing up data and configuring permissions. And we're not going to say that it's an easy job, but it is a pretty relaxed job compared to some of the other careers. As long as you have a solid understanding of network systems and good problem solving skills, this is an awesome career that is also projected to grow at around 5% by 2032. Now, what kind of pay can you expect for such a job? And it's actually around 122,000 per year. The next one is going to be the software engineer. And if you're looking for a great career with an awesome title after you get your CS degree, then I would look no further than the software engineer. And while the field is actually pretty competitive and especially more competitive than before, there are still quite a few jobs and they have really high salaries. And there's both the software developer and the software engineer, which are similar, but the software engineer is usually a bit more advanced and has a more technical toolkit. I do need to emphasize that while you learn how to create software and maintain software in CS, it's not necessarily the focus of your degree. And many people are getting two different programming jobs and software engineering. And many people, when they are looking for a programming job after their CS degree or kind of in software engineering, realize that they need to actually study quite a bit on the side and you might have to, you know, learn the programming aspect yourself if you want to have the sufficient skills to actually get a job as a software engineer. The average salary in the US is about 129,000 per year, but at top companies you can make a lot of money and there are people making multiple six figures a year as a software engineer at the top companies. Again, I really need to just say that competition can be really fierce for these jobs and it's 
not necessarily the best option if you're just looking for you know a relaxed job because you are going to be competing with absolute geniuses that are spending 24 hours a day doing lead code problems so it just depends on what you're willing to get into basically now the next one is going to be the computer hardware engineer and if you do love the internet well, we all do, but we wouldn't be able to access it without our computers and other devices, which makes the career of a computer hardware engineer so incredibly important and valuable. Computer hardware engineers are the ones who basically design and develop the hardware that makes our computers work. Some important skills computer hardware engineers need from their CS degree are critical thinking, advanced analysis, and communication skills. Although, you know, it depends on how well you have those after a CS degree. And if you do pursue a career as a computer hardware engineer, you can expect an average salary of around 113,000 per year. The next one is going to be probably my personal favorite on the list, which is the cloud engineer. And while physical hardware will always be important, the desire for smaller, lighter, and more efficient devices has created the need for increased com cloud computing capabilities. And when a company needs to up its cloud computing game, or they need to kind of integrate it with different products, they need a cloud engineer. And this is basically a person who knows how to migrate computer systems to the cloud, configure its many protocols, and create applications to monitor its performance. Cloud engineers will need to have knowledge of cloud computing platforms, or at least one, like Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud, and Microsoft Azure, in addition to skills in data storage, programming, and networking. And for this career, you can expect an average salary of around 102,000 per year, but these salaries are actually increasing, and there are going to be a lot of opportunities in the future as well. The next one is AI and machine learning engineer. And some people think AI is going to take over the world, and other people think that it's just going to make their jobs a lot easier. And either way, the world needs AI and machine learning engineers to design, train, and maintain the models and data sets that keep them running. For possibly contributing to the downfall or the advancement of the human race, you can expect an average salary of 114000 per year, and of course a lot more if you get more senior. The next one is going to be the mobile app developer, and we all use apps every single day, and businesses as well as entrepreneurs are always looking for someone to build their ideas into successful applications, and that's where an app developer comes in. Now, to be an app developer, you'll need a knowledge of various fields, including UI design, coding in different languages, cross-platform development, and agile development. And as an app developer, you can expect a salary of around 103,000 per year. And the next one is going to be R&D scientist. And while all of the previous careers on this list focus on the computer part of computer science, this one is more focusing on the science aspect. When companies like Apple, Google, and Microsoft want to put out new products, the first step in the process is to create a department called the R&D department. And this is where research and development scientists take concepts and ideas and use them to plan and design hardware. They then test, iterate, and retest their creations until they're ready to be manufactured. And as a person who could possibly have a hand in creating the next iPhone, you can expect an average salary of around $99,000 per year. Now next up on the list is going to be great for any gamers out there, and this one is going to be the video game developer. If you love playing video games, the skills that you pick up as a CS major make you perfectly suited for actually creating them yourself. Programming, problem solving, design, and sometimes even advanced knowledge of mathematics is going to be very important here. And even though it sounds playful with just working with the games, it is actually one of the most difficult careers on our list, but it's also one of the most rewarding. In addition to the average salary of 108,000 per year, you can play an important role in the creation of awesome gaming experiences. Especially if you're interested in the field, I do think that it might be a great option as well. Now, I also made a video with some courses and certificates that you can take to actually reach these careers and do it faster, which I recommend you check out on the screen. The video got a lot of positive feedback, and I would love to see you over there.